All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Bears Daily. My name is Jackson, and we're talking Tevin Jenkins today because, unfortunately, seems that they are possibly going to trade him. I still would recommend holding off on that for another season, but I'm very curious to hear what other Bears fans have to say. I'm very curious to hear what Bears media has to say, the average national media, whatever the hell it's called. I'm very curious to hear what other people think about this. So drop a comment down below on your thoughts on Tevin Jenkins. But missed 11 games last season, back surgery, you know, second round draft pick out of Oklahoma State. It was just kind of a, a disastrous season. My thing is this. He hasn't participated in a training camp. He has this undisclosed ailment. I don't really know what to make of that, actually, to, to be quite honest with you. Um Larry Borum, fifth round pick in, in the same draft class 2021, is getting all the reps at right tackle. So they might just be ready to move on from Tevin. Apparently, he's actually going to get a quote unquote robust market if they do decide to trade him. Like I said, he was the 39th pick in the 2021 draft. He actually earned all conference honors during his final year at Oklahoma State, won the program's Barry Sanders Award in 2018, which is the player with most contribution with the le least amount of recognition and the osu thurman thomas award in 2019 which is given to the school's outstanding offensive players so collegially speaking the accolades are through the roof i mean they're really off the chart those are as an impressive collegiate career so they have a, a kind of situation here because he's one of the six remaining first and second round draft picks from the ryan poles era that lasted seven seasons so it's not like crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's about half. I feel like six. It's only first and second rounder. So I don't think it's like all that crazy. But you can tell it's uncharacteristically low. I mean, if you only have six of your first and second round picks still on the roster from the last seven years, you know, unideal. The other players, uh, including Jenkins, you have Justin Fields, Cole Komet, Jalen Johnson, Roquan Smith, Cody Whitehair. I feel like all of those make perfect amount of sense. But with Tevin... You know, he's only going into his second year, man. And I understand that the whole issue is in, like, every single sport. I don't Actually, I don't know about baseball, but especially with basketball, when you have new GMs come in, when you have new management structures, new coaches, or what have you, when you just have new management come in, clear house, right? You clear house and you keep the guys that, you know, guys like Roquan Smith. So I wouldn't be surprised if Tevin gets traded. I also wouldn't be surprised if they decide to stick it out for at least another season because, I mean, there's a boatload of potential. You know, there's a boatload of potential with him. So, or I guess there was, I think that there still is. All of these situations are extremely, extremely unideal. And then with the draft, you know, the tackle position, especially if Larry Borum is, is winning the coaches over, you know, as far as starters go, you know, Tevin, the whole situation, the whole situation is just kind of shitty. But uh, <laughs> and we try and remain optimistic on this channel, but I'm definitely not going to lie to you guys. I mean, this, this is, um, it's tough, right? It's tough. The good news for the Bears is either way, like I said, apparently he's got a robust market. So you, you'd be able to get some value back for him. I don't, what's tough is like, you know, what's that value looking like? Because you got him in the second round two seasons ago. I mean, I feel like we're talking like a fifth rounder, sixth rounder at best here. Um, so, you know, I don't really know their definition of, I forget whose article this is, CBS, Chicago Sun-Times, one of those on his value. But, you know, maybe you bite the bullet before it gets too far gone. I don't know. I don't know. Thank God I'm not the GM. That's it for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button for Daily Bears content. Now that camps began, you know, we're probably going to be posted at least five times a week. We'll probably be live every Sunday, every weekend. So starting this weekend, like button, sub button. But most importantly, guys, go ahead, drop a comment down below. Please leave some thoughts on Tevin Jenkins. What should the Bears do, man? Peace.